Winchester PowerPoint 308 150 grains there's our bullet right there you get 20 of these uh, I do not know the price off the top of my head I know that these were almost about thirty dollars coming about a dollar fifty a pop before 2020 you could pick these up for about 20 so past couple years have not been nice to rifle ammunition of course I don't think that was in focus advertised velocity 2820 feet per second they advertised energy of 2648 foot pounds we'll see about that on the back, the legendary whitetail deer cartridge. Quote, the saying goes, legends are not born, they are made. Decades of success on whitetail and big game. This made Winchester, trademarked. <laughs> PowerPoint, also trademarked. I'll stop saying that. Truly legendary. The time proven dependability is offered in a wide range of calibers and bullet weights. And will be filling tags for generations to come to come whoa winds picking up marketed that's a dead spider on the back of the box ah sweet it's marketed as having quick knockdown excellent accuracy and deeper penetration it's also advertised for deer antelope and bear same standard testing that sun one getting stormy out here some mean looking clouds there's our sun we're running out of daylight real fast standard chronograph and ballistics gel testing it's the first time I've ever shooting a rifle cartridge in the gel uh, I'll give you a case overall length here in a bit did not think ahead enough I'm actually more concerned about the sunlight running out so we'll get to it the chronograph did not read and no reading again so I'm just going to give up on that not enough sunlight out here today lost it fortunately Okay, we're really losing sun. And uh, you can actually see your 9mm track going through that. Might reverse those. Just too centered. Hopefully still in focus. Yeah, looking good. Alright. Well, we lost the block, so got to look at this here. So that's uh, that's impressive. Wish I was able to grab a chronograph reading. That actually split the block. Measure how long that split it. That right there is our 308. Measure how deep in that went. Take a look at that entrance. That also split. It's a lot more power than our nine. If you haven't watched it, that's our nine millimeter right there. That 308 definitely 
Wow. Did a complete different number. The it's rifles versus pistols. I'm going to go measure this up. Expansion is basically whole God, okay. That actually might just be me. Massive Tavik Cavit yeah, having a stroke. That's impressive. Cavitation is almost immediate, but really shows up at the one inch mark. Maintains a peak of just over three and a half inches oh that even split outside to the blocks too thin to show how much that really did wow a minimum oh uh, no we'll, we'll keep that at three and a half uh it peaked a little over four but i'm not sure if that's from that falling it's about four and a half out here where it split our block. That's fairly deep down in. That's two inches of depth. That's where that split happened. Hey. It's running eight and three quarters. That's how long that split in the top of her block is total cavitation distance runs to about 11 and a quarter maybe 11 and 3 eighths that massive cavitation happened about an inch inside of the block total penetration 18 inches on the dot. Don't know what that is, but it picked up something. That, that's impressive. That is really just damn. That's impressive. Get to dig that out along with that uh Hydra Shock. Wow. Split that. Oh, Siri, it split that. That is a... Again, just... Wow. I came in two inches below the surface. And it just... Destroyed. 18 inches. This is, uh, forgot to mention in this video. My BB calibration was 3 inches on these blocks. So that's actually a little bit more dense than what I was looking for. If it is that dense and it's split like that... I just wish I was able to grab a uh, chronograph reading. Actually, sun is kind of coming back out. I might shoot one more over, see if I can't grab a velocity reading. Wow.